If you were to see an expression like this, x squared plus 4, how can we factor this particular expression? This is a sum of squares. Now, how would you factor this one, x squared minus 4? Feel free to take a minute and factor those two examples. If you have a difference of perfect squares, let's say a squared minus b, to factor it, it's simply a plus b times a minus b. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 4 is 2. One is positive, and the other is negative. Now, if you have uh, the sum of squares, you can factor it like this. It's going to be x and 2i. i is an imaginary number. One is going to be positive, and the other is negative. You need to know that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. i squared is negative 1. So knowing this, let's prove that this indeed is the factored form of this expression. We can do so by foiling these two binomials. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2i, that's negative 2ix and 2i times x is positive 2ix. 2i times negative 2i is negative 4i squared. These two cancel, they add up to 0. And i squared is negative 1, so this gives you x squared plus 4. So if you have a sum of squares, you can factor it using imaginary numbers. What about these two? x squared minus 5 and x squared plus 5. Now this one is similar to x squared minus 4. 4 is a perfect square, 5 is not. So to factor it, we need to use square roots. The square root of 5 is simply radical 5. Now for the expression below, it's going to be similar, but using imaginary numbers since we have the sum of squares. So it's going to be x plus root 5 times i, and x minus square root 5 times i. Now let's work on some practice problems. Let's try this one. Go ahead and factor this expression completely. What's the first thing that we need to do here? We can't take the square root of 3 or 75, unless we wish to use a, a square root, of course. But notice that we can take out the GCF, which is 3. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. 75 divided by 3 is 25. So always check to see if you can take out the greatest common factor, or the GCF. Now we have the sum of squares. So to factor, it's going to be x. And the square root of 25 is 5, but it's going to be 5i. And plus and minus. So this is it. Try this one. 5x squared minus 45. Go ahead and take a minute to work that example. So now, the first thing we should do is take out the GCF, which is 5. 5x squared divided by 5 is x squared. Negative 45 divided by 5 is negative 9. So here we have the difference of perfect squares. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. And it's going to be x plus 3, x minus 3, times 5. So this is the answer. Try this one. 2x squared minus 14. Factor it completely. So we can take out a 2, and we're going to be left with x squared minus 7. Now we need to factor it using, it using square roots. So this is going to be x, and then square root 7, plus and minus. Now what about this example? 3x squared plus 33. 
So we can see that the greatest common factor is 3. And this is going to be x squared plus 11. So we have the sum of two numbers. So we need to use a square root and an imaginary number. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 11 is root 11. But because we have a plus sign, we need to add i. So this is it. Now let's say if we have this example, a cubic polynomial, x cubed minus x squared plus 16x minus 16. What can we do to factor this particular expression? If the first two coefficients have the same ratio as the last two coefficients, you can factor by grouping. In the first two terms, take out the GCF. x cubed divided by x squared is x, and negative x squared divided by x squared is negative 1. In the last two terms, we can take out a 16, which will give us a common factor of x minus 1. So if we take out x minus 1, we will have x squared and plus 16. So here we have a sum of squares. So we can factor x squared plus 16 as x plus 4i times x minus 4i. So this is the answer in its fully factored form. Now what if you have a polynomial of higher degree? Let's say it's x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 36. How can we factor this particular expression? So first, let's factor it by substitution. Let's replace a, or x squared, with a. So if a is x squared, that means a squared is x to the fourth. So this expression is equivalent to a squared minus 5a minus 36. So here we have a trinomial with a leading coefficient of 1. So what two numbers multiply to negative 36 but add to negative 5? So if we make a list, it's not 1 and 36, it's not 2 and 18, it's not 3 and 12. 4 and 9 can work if we use positive 4 and negative 5, I mean negative 9. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. So it's going to be a plus 4 times a minus 9. Now at this point, we can replace a with x squared. So this is x squared plus 4 times x squared minus 9. Here we have the sum of two perfect squares. So to factor, it's going to be x plus 2i times x minus 2i. And here we have the difference of perfect squares. So that expression can be factored as x plus 3 times x minus 3. So this is the final answer. If this was equal to 0, there will be four answers. x could be plus or minus 2i. That's two imaginary answers. And plus or minus 3. Now this is going to be the last problem of the video. Go ahead and factor this expression. So what's the first thing that we should do? Notice that 3, 21, and 24 are all divisible by 3. So the greatest common factor is 3. If we take out a 3, we're going to get x to 6. 21 divided by 3 is 7. 24 divided by 3 is 8. Now let's use substitution. Let's replace a with the middle variable, x cubed, so that a squared is x to the 6. This technique works if this exponent is twice the value of this one, if it's in quadratic form, so to speak. So what we now have is a squared plus 7a minus 8. Now what two numbers multiply to negative 8 but add to 7? This is going to be positive 8 and negative 1. So to factor it, it's going to be a plus 8 
times a minus 1. So now we can replace a with x cubed. Now there's two other special cases you need to know. That is the sum of perfect cubes and the difference of cubes. Now let's go over the sum of cubes formula. a to the third plus b to the third is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. So a to the third is the same as x to the third. And b to the third is 8. The cube root of x to the third is x. The cube root of 8 is 2. a squared is the same as x squared. ab is just x times 2, which is 2x. b squared is 2 times 2, or 4. So that's how you can factor x cubed plus 8. Now what about x cubed minus 1? So the difference of squares equation is a cubed minus b cubed, which is a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So a is x, b is 1. a squared is going to be x squared. a b is just 1 times x, which is x. b squared is 1 times 1, which is 1. So the final answer is going to be 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x plus 4 times x squared plus x plus 1. We can't factor these two trinomials, by the way.